guys, RTT back here for that video guys. Today, we'll be going and taking a look at how good the camera setup are on the Galaxy Fold 3. Now, I'll be looking at it compared to an iPhone, also compared to a Surface Duo. Now, right now on the market, guys, this is the best of the best when it comes to the foldable phones, right? So it's very important to kind of have all your cake and be able to eat it too. So of course, on this camera setup, uh, starting off right away, we have a 10 megapixel uh, selfie camera, which you are seeing me right now on. And once we go ahead and open it up, we will have a four megapixel camera. And then on the outside on the back of this phone, we'll also have three uh, triple setup when it comes to three 12 megapixel cameras so we're gonna see how good these actually look and how good they actually are so let's go ahead and switch to the middle camera one second guys all right keep in mind i'm recording all these at uh 1080p 60 fps so wow 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 now this camera right here is actually the under display camera this is what a lot of people have been complaining about saying that this looks absolutely god awful and that it's really not as good as the other ones and i'm gonna say right away whoa yeah this does not look that good it's not as bad as people are saying that it is but it definitely does not look good now this is a four megapixel camera so this is a little bit different when it comes to quality uh, overall wise but it's yeah um i'm gonna tell you right now if i was taking videos with this one probably not going to be the one i go with but to be honest i don't know how many people will be taking pictures of this one so it's one of those things where it's like is it really a big deal probably not but you know, let's go ahead and switch to the back cameras guys one second all right so this one's a little bit more challenging just because it is how it's set up but i'm going to use it like this and just walk around like this because it's a little bit different but i will definitely say just looking at it right away it looks a lot better than the middle one right not better than the first i don't know this is obviously a better camera setup than the first one uh we'll kind of go through and put these all side by side taking a look at how good they actually look but i will say overall wise it's a really interesting concept the under display camera setup but you gotta keep in mind guys the under display camera setup is meant for a reason it's meant to go ahead and be like magic it doesn't uh go ahead and block your view of your media and you're able to use your media without any hesitation or issue so with that in mind let's go ahead and compare this to the iphone 12 pro max and also the surface duo one second boys now taking a look at the selfie camera on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, you guys can see it is very similar looking to what we saw with the Fold 3's selfie camera. Now what's really interesting about this is that it actually looks better on the Fold 3. Now I just looked at it from that small little display screen at the very beginning, but it definitely looks better on the uh, Fold 3 than it does on the iPhone. I don't know. I've always thought, you know, looking at Samsung phones and their cameras versus the iPhone cameras, I've always thought it looks better on the uh, uh, Samsung phones than the iPhones. I might be incorrect, guys, but tell me your thoughts and opinions. So let's go ahead and see how it looks on the back camera setup on this phone. So for the back camera setup, we actually have a triple setup like we have in the Fold 3. So it's the same concept. Uh, again, like I said, I'm recording all these videos at 1080p uh 60 fps so we're going to get the same resolution no matter what phone we use the reason why i'm doing this is i'm trying to keep it equal across the board so it doesn't look like one thing is better than the other thing you know pretty much plain simple right nonetheless though guys tell me your thoughts and opinions of the iphone because we're about to switch to the surface duo and we're going to see how good the surface duo can do one second boys now the Surface Duo has one camera set up on its whole entire phone. It's 11 megapixel right here. So there's no real point to show the front or back version of the phone because it's the same exact camera no matter what you do. You're not going to get a better camera set up on the Surface Duo than you will of course on, you know, like the other phones. With the iPhones we have two different camera setups and for the Fold 3 we have three camera setups. For this iPhone, you, I mean, for this Surface Duo, you're just gonna get one simple camera setup, and that's pretty much it. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead now, get into the photography of these cameras, and seeing how good the photography actually is. So let's go ahead 
and get right into it guys all right guys so what i want you to do go ahead and tell me down below as you go ahead and get into the photography part uh, at the end of this video here guys we have two different images we have first off a picture of some puma socks and then we also have a picture of a signed jersey now we'll be looking at first off obviously uh, clarity quality and you know just how like detailed these images are and to be honest it's really night and day when you look at you know the first two versus the surface duo nonetheless though guys i want you to comment down below right now and tell me which of these three phones do you think is bet has won this battle overall which phone is the best when it comes to video slash foot uh, photo um quality in this video and i will definitely say i'm not gonna give my opinion i don't want to go ahead and sway anybody left or right but i will say that i definitely do think there is one clear winner nonetheless though here's a second image and you can see right here we got the iphone 4 3 and surface duo and whew, that surface duo although i do love it and i one of my favorite phones i've ever owned in my life it is definitely going to say i will say the quality of you know the pictures and the video it's up there man it's definitely up there nonetheless guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions though what do you guys what are you guys thinking uh this does not take away from these phones whether it's the iphone fold 3 or surface zero these are all still great phones to own and have but this is something to take away if you are looking to pick these up which one would be the best one to pick up i'll see you guys in the next one